Shelter and Homelessness Awareness Week, which calls attention to the problem of homelessness that many people in our state face on a daily basis. Homelessness is a matter of life and death, and the scope of the homelessness crisis and the immediate need for housing in Illinois is staggering. Chronic homelessness has increased both in number and percentage. The percentage of the homeless population consisting of chronically homeless people rose from 9% in 2016 to 22% in 2020. In 2020, at least 10,000 Illinoisans experienced homelessness, and by some counts, uh, when you combine those with, who requested services from the Department of Housing and Urban Development over the course of 2020, the count is over 65,000 people experiencing homelessness in Chicago alone. According to ISBE, over 47,000 school children were identified as experiencing homelessness in the 2019-2020 school year. People experiencing homelessness include people with substance use disorders, HIV AIDS, serious mental illness, veterans, seniors, and survivors of domestic violence. Black people are eight times more likely to experience homelessness than white people. Black Illinoisans comprise 14% of the population of the state, but they constitute 61% of residents experiencing homelessness. People experiencing unsheltered homelessness may become frequent utilizers of hospital emergency rooms, encampments, tents, cars, abandoned buildings, and park benches, which are unsafe, unhealthy, and undignified. And unsheltered homelessness is especially dangerous during cold weather, heat waves, and extreme weather conditions. Crisis housing is the foundational safety net for people in immediate need of shelter. During COVID-19, shelter capacity diminished significantly and many areas of Illinois lack shelter that they need. This critical part of and gateway to the continuum of housing um, is severely lacking in Illinois. There is an urgent need for safe, dignified, non-congregate crisis housing. A model of rapid response, shelter transitional villages with case management has emerged in the past few years. Residents of these sh transitional shelter villages are connected to housing with wraparound social services, such as mental health care, showers, and laundry. With a safe place to sleep, a supportive environment, access to meals, hygiene facilities, and a case manager, residents can focus on finding permanent housing and employment opportunities. This model is more cost effective than any institutional setting per person or unit and can be built at a fraction of the cost of regular shelters. So I have filed House Resolution 986 and in which we urge the state to launch a pilot program to establish a shelter village that will support the crisis housing and health needs of people currently experiencing unsheltered homelessness. So all of us here today, we're gonna to be heading back in um, very shortly later today to our districts to celebrate Thanksgiving next week. And I'd like all of us to remember those who have who are not as fortunate as us, those who lack the most basic necessity, a roof over their head and a place to call home. So today, in honor of National Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week, um, I'd like all of us to commit to real and tangible solutions to fight homelessness. And uh, I thank you for your attention and consideration. Um, it is my sincere hope that as we head into this holiday season and the coldest months of the year, that every member of the General Assembly will support this resolution. I wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Representative Batnick for